come back and do it one more time for a fifth year is super special to me. And being a 23 year old, I'm one of the oldest guys on the team now. So the responsibility is so much larger and I'll be a role model and a leader for these uh, the younger guys coming in. Show them what it looks like every day to be a Spartan and uh, to play in the Big Ten. Boys are all fired up. We've been working hard since July 6th or so. We obviously have four transfers that are bringing in experience with them and bringing a lot of speed, skill, and intensity to our lineup, which is good. It's been good competition and practice and a lot of buildup for the games coming up. That was kind of just what we wanted to do is, is create a new foundation for, for the program and, and the team to build off of. So that'll be a huge step for the program and, and for the school in general. So when we get to Big Tens, uh, it's obviously going to be a really deep conference this year and, and looking forward to a lot of competition. So it should be a fun year. Big Ten, we're, we didn't have fans last year, so it'll be cool to get back into the rinks. Uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, all those places uh, with fans and, and hopefully get some wins there. Just want to leave here and, and try to win something and uh, to, to leave something that people remember. You know, when I was here and something I can look back on and just be proud of to win a GLI or, you know, a national championship at Big Ten, just to have something to, to look back on and remember. It's a pretty crazy feeling to, to think about. It's my last year here and uh, for all the seniors, we're kind of looked at to set the example now and, and we'd like to have guys look at us so it's been good and, and we're all looking forward to the season. Our guys came back July 7th and, and had a great July and about two thirds of August with Coach Vork and they're doing conditioning and they're in the weight room an awful lot and really I think set themselves up for success. They put themselves in a really good position conditioning wise and team wise and we can see week to week that you know their uh, their conditioning and their prep work is getting better and better and you know we're looking forward to October 2nd and the game with the U.S. team and, and seeing where we're at. The weight room is going to be done first, and that's going to be here uh, real soon, so we'll be able to start using that right away. Everything else will phase in during the year and will be completely moved in right at the end of the year. You know, even the seniors that, that won't get a lot of time in the space, they've been watching this uh, progress their, their whole time here, you know, from the planning to the construction to finishing up where we're at now. It's been exciting for them and, and for us also. I mean, we love MUN. We think it's a great facility, and I think with this addition, it's going to be one of the best hockey training facilities in, in college hockey. Year over year, like I said, I think our, our recruiting class have gotten better and better, and we're looking for guys that, you know, have that high compete, have that hockey IQ, and have that passion for the game, and I, th I think this class really embodies that, and even, even in terms of the transfers, and as you add guys like that, you can, you know, you can be better and better year over year. Our three guys that haven't played college hockey before that are coming in all did uh, exceedingly well in the USHL. I think all those guys are going to bring something to us and, and uh, again, elevate our hockey IQ, elevate the pace that we can play and help our scoring and, and just make us a better hockey team. Culture-wise, we really want one that is togetherness. Guys that come out and, and stick together and, and battle for each other. And If you're not relentless, if you don't have that culture of, hey, we're, we're going to stay steady and keep working and, and not let the game affect us but make sure we're affecting the game, uh, then you have a chance. And if you have enough talent with that type of culture, you're going to win a lot of hockey games. The guys, uh, they do the right things on and off the ice. The leadership has been great. I think the, the camaraderie and the enthusiasm within the group and the belief within the group is pretty good. They're in a good spot now, and you know, we're going to win some hockey games this year.